Hey guys, in today's video we've got an awesome little buggy, but I must be honest, I broke it. And still I recommend this one. Do you want to know why? Stay tuned. So guys, in today's video we've got an awesome bucky to look at and I paid only 65 bucks for this car and inside this car you will find a brushless setup, metal gears, ball bearings, metal drive shaft and a lot more. So let me get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find the car, the transmitter, some instructions, a USB charger, some tools, some spare bits and pieces and we've got a 1500mAh lithium ion battery. But let's have a closer look at the transmitter first. So this is the transmitter and it runs on 3 AA's which you need to supply of your own. So it's capable of one-hand steering and overall the build quality is very sturdy with those transmitters. So we've got a phone wheel inside there and we've got a couple of buttons. So this is channel number 3 and this is for controlling the lights if the car has lights but this one doesn't. We've got the 3 position switch right over here and this is for controlling the three speed modes and on top of here you'll find your steering team your steering durator the steering reverse button and the on off switch so overall the transmitter looks pretty nice and yeah i am always really pleased with those transmitters but now let's have a closer look at the car and here is the car guys what do you think of it well i think that this car really looks amazing and especially for the price so i paid only 65 bucks for this car and i already know that all the electronics and all the suspension part is actually pretty good in this side this car but already i found one big flaw with this car and that's the suspension so this version has got simple the friction shocks and i totally don't understand why I put friction shocks on a car that is almost perfect i totally don't get it so recently i reviewed another car which has exactly the same chassis and exactly the same arms and everything and that car did came with oil shocks so if i find the correct oil shocks i will put the link down below so you if you buy this car also buy the oil shocks because that will improve the handling yeah much by with this car but now let's have a close look at all the details in the front of the car you will find some metal CVDs, metal cups and a metal carrier right over there. So this car has got ball bearings throughout, metal gears throughout and metal drive shafts throughout and that's always a good thing. So the tires they feel pretty nice and I think that these tires will do very good on the tarmac or maybe also gravel as well. But I don't think that these are very good dirt tires but you know it really doesn't matter. This is more like an all round better I think. So at the rear of the car you will find some metal cups as well, metal drive shaft parts right over there. So we have got metal dark bone and we've got some metal carriers right over there and again we've got the simple friction shock which i totally don't like so underneath the car you will find the plastic chassis and these are actually pretty good oh and the other thing i must mention are the arms so these arms are made from a very flexible material which i really like so normally when you crash into a curve or something you know this flexes a little bit and goes into the original shape and that's always a good thing so if a plastic is very solid you know or very stiff then it snaps off pretty easily but i have got some very good experience with those arms so i think that these will last for a pretty long time so let me remove the body and show you what's under there Underneath the body you will find a very good setup. So I reviewed cars before with a similar setup and these are actually pretty nice. So this is your 2847 4000kV brushless motor. This is a 2-in-1 receiver ESC combination and we've got a 35 amp ESC built inside there. If your car has got some light, we've got some light port sitting right over there. So this is your 3-wire servo going all the way to there and these servers are actually pretty good, especially for the size of this car. So here's your battery tray, we've got some aluminium sassy braces right over there and when we turn the car around you will find some metal drive shaft going to the front and the back so yeah i am always pretty pleased with these cars you know it's lightweight it's fast it's durable and yeah i really like those so let me throw some batteries and show you when it's on the car is powered on and here you can see the steering servo so we've got plenty of speed and we've got plenty of power as well so this is always a good thing so power wise this is the low speed this is medium and this is high speed and it's making a lot of noise and that's due to all the metal gears and metal drive shaft inside there. But for now there's only one thing left to do and that's take it outside for a spin. So guys we're at the tarmac road and the first thing that we're going to do we're going to speed run it. So here we go. 
So guys, this is just straight from the box. So I didn't do anything with uh, yeah the, the trim or something. So straight out of the box, full throttle straight away. Here it goes. Yeah. Oh, almost crashed it. Yeah, this car drives very, very nice. It's very stable as well. Full throttle. Do you see that? Yeah, I really like this car. So I will give it a couple of runs and then we will see what speeds we will get with this little car. So guys, I gave it a couple of runs and we hit the 46 kilometers an hour. So that's a pretty decent speed, but I was expecting a little bit more, but I made a little mistake. So the previous model uh, did run on the 3S LiPo battery, but this one runs only on the 2S LiPo battery. And on the 3S it will do 60, but on the 2S we hit the 46 kilometers an hour. So that's a pretty decent speed, you know. But now let's take it off road and see what happens there. So guys, I've been driving this car around for a couple of minutes now and I must say, yeah, this car is pretty fun to drive, but it's got only one big flaw and that are the shocks. So it being just simple friction shock, this thing bounces around and therefore it's a bit more hard to control and that's a bit of a pity. But you know, this car is still fun to drive. All the components are pretty yeah, sturdy until now, the motor works fine. The steering servo works fine. So yeah, the platform of this car, I really like those. But if you're considering buying this car, I really suggest to upgrade it to the oil shocks. Another thing with this car, so these tires are more made for unroading instead of off-roading. So yeah, driving this on a tarmac, for example, is more where this car belongs than here on the gravel or on the grass. And yeah, but overall, yeah, I really like this car, especially this platform. It's fast, durable. Yeah, these cars are just fun to drive and pretty affordable too. So I paid, I think it was like 65 bucks for this car. And for the money, I think that you will have a pretty good and sturdy car. Yeah, I really like those uh, tiny things. So oh, it's stuck in the grass. Oh, here it goes again. Yeah. So for now, I will just give you some driving footage and then I will come back to you with my final thoughts. So guys, that was the driving with this car, and at the end, when filming some slow motion footage, I lost a screw, and therefore my drive shaft popped out. But you know, this is just an easy fix, just add a new screw in there and the drive shaft, and then you're all good to go. But overall, these cars, I really like those cars, you know, these cars are tiny, they are fast, all the electronics works fine, and especially this steering servo is doing a great job. So at some other models I reviewed before, you know, the steering servo was always like a weak link, and it didn't steer, especially when driving to uh, through grass or something but this works all flawlessly in my opinion only this car has got one big downside and that are the shocks i really don't understand why they make this car with standard friction stock you know just make this car like i don't know 10 bucks more expensive but add oil shocks instead of the friction car shocks because when driving over the field these shocks will let you down it just bounces around over the field and therefore you will have uh, less grip and therefore you will lose control over the car so yeah that's the only negative thing that i have to say about this car overall these cars are just amazing especially for the price so this will set you back around 65 bucks i think it is so i'll put the link down below to this car and if i can find some oil shocks for this one i will put them also in the link down below so overall i really like those cars all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video Bye bye